Hey guys, it's Riley, Riley's Little Space, his little space, whatever you know me as. Today, since I am feeling a little bit bigger, I thought it would be fun to read you guys a bedtime story out of my little, little book of bedtime stories. So I am going to be reading you the first story in the little book, which is called The Nacho Monster. I will show you the pictures and everything as we go along, and it'll just be a fun time. So here we go. The Nacho Monster. I feel like a snack, Ronnie said to his friend Rick one morning. Some Something crackly, crunchy, crisp, and munchy. Cornflakes, asked Rick. That's not what I want at all, said Ronnie. I want a snack in a great big bag so you can munch as you go down the street. Then Rick started hopping from one foot to the other. I know, I know, he yelled. A monster bag of nachos. That's exactly what I want, Ronnie agreed. Now let's go and get some. So they raced off to the nearest supermarket and went straight to the shelves that held the snacks. They found 50 different flavored chips, cheesy puffs, onion hoops, loop on loops, even potato sticks that tasted like sardines but no monster bag of nachos. We've run out, said the manager. Run out, gasped Ronnie and Rick together. A supermarket with no monster bags of nachos? That's unheard of. My biggest customer just bought the lot, said the manager, and there he is going through the door. Who needs that many bag of nachos, asked Ronnie. Let's find out, said Rick. Once outside the supermarket, the boys stood still and stared. Please tell me this isn't real, Ronnie gulped. Pinch me, I must be dreaming, Rick's voice sounded ever so squeaky. Hi there, a loud voice boomed. Standing right in front of them was a hairy monster with a shopping cart full of monster bags of nachos. It's quite all right, the hairy monster assured them. The manager lets me take the cart home as long as I bring it back the next week. That's kind of him, squeaked Rick. He must be able to trust you, blurted out Ronnie. Then the hairy monster pointed his paw at the cart full of nachos. We're having a party, do come and join us. Ronnie and Rick just nodded their heads. It's true to say they were at a loss for words. Hang on to my cart, the hairy monster boomed and took off like a rocket. We'll go through the park. It's the quickest way back home for me. The three of them sped past the bandstand towards a clump of bushes. Help! Slow down! Both boys yelled and closed their eyes as they crashed through the bushes. Here we are, boomed the hairy monster. Come and join the party. When Ronnie and Rick dared to open their eyes, they were in the middle of a garden full of monsters of all shapes and sizes. Balloons and streamers were everywhere, music was playing, and there were lots of yummy, delicious party foods on the table. Here come the monster bags of nachos, boomed the hairy monster monster in a voice much louder than before, and I've brought along two new friends. These monsters were a jolly bunch, Ronnie and Rick found. They loved to dance, play games, and sing, but most of all, they loved eating nachos. And as you know, so did Ronnie and Rick. When all the nachos were gone and the party came to an end, Ronnie and Rick thought it was time for them to go too. Should we take your cart back to the supermarket for you? The boys asked the hairy monster. No need, he boomed. I'll be going back there as usual next week to buy all the monster bags of nachos. Save some for us, laughed Ronnie and Rick. Then they closed their eyes, and when they opened them, they were back in the park next to the bandstand. If your supermarket ever runs out of monster bags of nachos every week, I'm sure you can guess where they've gone. And that is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. If you want me to do more little story time videos, I would be more than happy to do them for you. I have four little story books like this, and so there are plenty Plenty, plenty more stories that I can do and read for you if you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, of course, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I post every Saturday a regression or little based video over here for you all to enjoy. I love you guys lots and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye!